Hello everyone. I'm Haruki Nakayama of Tokyo University Japan. Today, I'd like to talk to you about effect of shoe insoles on body sway in video-based person identification. To accurately identify people, it's necessary to obtain informative cues representing individuals from the video sequences. Body sway in standing individuals has been attracting attention in recent years. Body sway is a small movement occurring naturally when a person is standing, even when they consciously try to stop it. As you see, the person slightly moves even though the human body is stationary. The existing study showed the body sway is an effective cue for person identification. We need to consider various factors to evaluate accuracy in real environments. Here, we focus on shoes as a factor. In the field of biomechanics, analytical studies have been performed using a footprint force sensor to evaluate the effect of shoes on body sway. However, these studies didn't take into account the effect of insoles placed in the shoes. For example, when without insole features are used as query samples, identification successes. In contrast, when with insole features are used as query samples, identification fails. Shoe insoles could degrade the performance of person identification using body sway. We investigated the effect of shoe insoles on the performance of person identification by extracting the features of body sway. We used slippers and insoles to evaluate the effect of shoe insoles. We refer to the state of wearing slippers only as a without insole state and the state of wearing slippers with insoles as the with insole state. Here, we evaluate the hypothesis. When with insole features are used as query samples, the identification performance is worse than when the without insole features are used as query samples. We assume without insole features are stored as the target samples. Here, we consider changes in the condition of the soles of the feet can have a significant impact on even the slight movement of body sway. For example, if a person is wearing shoes without insoles, the movement of body sway becomes small. Contrastingly, if a person is wearing shoes with insoles to increase body height, the movement of body sway becomes large because the soles of the feet are unstable. Therefore, we focus on the insole. This is a variation in the condition of the soles of the feet. Person identification is a technique determining whether a person in a query video sequence is stored in the target dictionary. It's important to extract features from the video sequence of body sway to obtain high identification performance. In step one, we record a color video sequence of body sway using an overhead camera. In step 2, we estimate a silhouette video sequence of the head region from the color video sequence. In step 3, we select the reference silhouette frame for each silhouette video sequence. In step 4, 
we create a difference value video sequence to extract the movement of the head region at each time step. In step 5, we divide the difference value video sequence into local blocks to observe the spatial difference in head shape. In step 6, we compute the amount of movement for each local block to extract a time series signal in the head region. In step 7, we extract a future for personal identification. In each local block, the power spectral density is calculated from the amount of movement. In step 8, we use the nearest neighbor based on the Euclidean distance between a query future and the target futures. We explain the dataset of our investigation. We used shoes for the result in solar state and the with in soul state the thickness of each in soul was 3.5 cm we acquired video sequences of the bodies of 20 participants the duration of each video sequence was set to 120 seconds each participant was videoed three times in the without and with in soul states the participants stood with an upright posture under the camera. We evaluated the identification performance. We used the futures of without in solar video sequence as the target samples. We used the futures of without in solar video sequence or with in solar video sequence as the query samples. In each of the trials, different samples were used for the target sample and the query sample. We compare the identification accuracy between without in soul and with in soul. The identification performance for with in soul queries is about 18 points lower than that for without in soul queries. In the second experiment, we compared the without and with the in soul futures to examine the reason for the decrease in identification performance. For each participant, we extract the without in soul future and with in soul future. We calculate the difference between the without and with the in soul futures at each frequency. We calculate the average for all participants using the differences. This shows average of difference between without and with in soul futures. The vertical axis is difference in log power. The horizontal axis is frequencies of left, back, right, front block. There were large differences in the components of various frequencies. In particular, the low frequency components of the left and right blocks are generally different. We investigated how to insole change the body's way. In previous study, the effect of shoes on body say was analyzed in two directions, AP and ML directions. In the AP direction, we observed the person from the front. In the ML direction, we observed the person from the side. Wearing shoes significantly increased the maximum magnitude of body say in the AP direction. However, the previous study used a foot plate force sensor to observe the magnitude of body sway. Whereas, 
we use the camera instead. We explain the method for extracting the maximum magnitude of body sway. We use ML and AP directions from imaginary taken with a camera. First, we record a color video sequence for each local block. Next, we create a difference value video sequence for each local block. Then, we acquire the difference value video sequence in AP and ML direction. AP direction is determined by the front block and the back block. ML direction is determined by the left block and the right block. So, we find the maximum difference value image in AP and ML directions. Finally, we calculate the maximum magnitude. We compare the maximum magnitude of the body sway in the AP and ML directions in the wizard and with the installed states. This figure shows the maximum magnitude in AP direction. The maximum magnitude is increased with the installed state compared to without installed state. This figure shows the maximum magnitude in ML direction. Similarly, the maximum magnitude is significantly increased with the installed state compared to without installed state. There was a significant difference in the maximum magnitude of body sway in both directions. To conclude, we investigated the effect of showing swords on the performance of personal identification by extracting the future of body sway. In the first experiment, the identification performance decreased when we the install query samples were used. In the second experiment, there was a significant difference in the low frequency components. In the third experiment, the maximum magnitude of body sway increased when installs are worn. As future work, we intend to develop a robust method to the presence of shoeing swords and the increased identification performance. That's all. Thank you for your attention.